Hey everybody, welcome back to Holy Roller Guitars. Uh, today's video, we're going to be installing these uh, Gibson parts on this Chipson guitar. Um, one thing I want to ask you all really quickly, has anyone tried to sand down this uh, Les Paul logo and been successful in getting it down to the black and then re-clearing over it? Uh, the second thing is... Um, these pickup rings, I know that they're different, um, like these are standard and this is metric or the other way around, I don't know, whatever it is. Um, I put them up to it and put them up to them and just with the bag on and it looked like it was going to fit, so I'm hoping it's going to fit. Um, I know I can get this truss rod to fit. I just want to make sure I can get these to fit. And then I was going over the, the knobs here for the switch. Uh, this is a Gibson part that I had on my 335 guitar, the Musco guitar. Uh, this is the original one that came on there. I'm pretty sure this is like a Switchcraft or something because the quality is pretty good of the, you know, of the shaping of the, the top and everything. But yeah, I wanted to see which one y'all think would probably uh, be good on this guitar. Um, this one does go on here, uh, but it goes all the way low, like down, down in there before it gets tight. And uh, you can't really get the switching up, so you have to loosen it a little bit. So if I do go with this one, I'll have to put something in there and then um, in, into this uh, switch knob, like at the top in there, and then put it on there. So um, not sure. Y'all let me know which one you think I should go with, the orange one or the white one. Uh, but let's get these strings loosened, and I will get started on taking off these pickup rings. I already got the measurements for the heights um, for the low side and the high side and uh, we'll get to it. So um, wish me luck and I hope uh, these rings fit. And as always please wear your eye protection when taking off the guitar strings um, just as a precaution. And uh, as you can see this light here it's actually the, the new shop light. Um, so let me know if you see any flickering there is three modes this is the highest mode that's second there's the lowest and there's off so, so let me know um i'll try to get it where the light isn't uh hitting the body um but we'll we'll see Alrighty, everybody what i'm going to do right now is this is completely flat for the gibson rings you can see how they're recessed here this is different and this is a nicer color than this yellow not sure how well it'll come up in the camera this is more whitish yellow than this uh, cream looking color so what I'm doing right now is one um, I put some tape here because I'm about to put some sandpaper here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just sand going back and forth here uh, with this sandpaper that's a little used I used it for some so it's not completely 220 but it is gonna be you know it is sandpaper so this actually has a soft back here what I'm gonna end up doing is putting this down here and then um, it'll take the shape of the body and then what I can do here is just sand it until I see that it sits pretty good on the body around where the pickup is gonna go pretty good for for this uh, pickup ring and then we'll do the back one y'all can see this so this is gonna go where the pickup is gonna go uh, the neck pickup and what I'm trying to do is get this rounded so uh, y'all can kind of see how it's rounded right here in the middle um, just from sanding it I was trying to get the middle first so I don't know if y'all could see how I was sanding on the paper like this with my finger in the middle to get this curve first and then I'll go and start doing the whole pickup ring but as of right here you can see I put it on there the, how the belly is still so you know big that if I do this the middle kind of comes up a little bit so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna do the whole pickup ring now and see if I can get that whole shape going on and uh, see how much will come off of the middle 140 I'm going in between one 150 and 220 I'm going in between these two and uh, We'll see how how it goes after I'm done. A tripod now for the workbench. It's uh, putting the tape measure here 
and then just putting the iPad here, I'll put a picture of what it looks like and that's how I'm getting the shots here of the time lapse. Okay, so here's what it looks like now. Looks more rounded, could use a little bit more work, uh, but I think it's gonna be good. Uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is these don't fit exactly, so I think it to, I think these go to 12 or 10. Um, his YouTube channel told me, you know, these might not work. And yeah, they're a little off, um, and they're not as wide, because you can see a little bit of up here, the body showing, and then of course they don't line up correctly. But what I'm gonna end up doing is lining it up as best I can, like here and there, like we're here where I'm at. And then I'm just gonna tap where I need to um, put the screws at, and then I'm gonna drill it out a little bit, and then that'll be that'll be it for for this. So let's see if I can uh, do that here. And as y'all can see, I think I'm gonna go ahead and flip this pickup around because I did want to do this on the Les Paul. So I wanted to see if I should switch the, uh, oh, you know what, I did do this the right way. Okay, so I wanted to do the 57 in the neck and the burst bucker in the bridge, and I forgot, <laughs> I know it's been a little bit, um, but what I wanted to do is do the 57 in the neck and the burst bucker in the bridge. It's already like that, so I don't have to miss with that, so um, I don't got to fumble on that, but um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is see if I can get this lined up as best as I can with these markings here. Um, to where the pickup doesn't sh the pickup ring doesn't show that and I will bring it forward just a little bit make sure everything's still aligned I'm gonna mark the corners where the screws are gonna go then I'm gonna drill them the screws are 0 0.07 and so I used a 0 0.06 uh, for the drill bit I think that it's gonna work uh, fine um, but we'll find out here shortly I think I have it to where I, where I like it and y'all tell me if I should leave this poker chip on here or not um, I could always switch this to one of the other Les Pauls that I have um, I like it because it has the gold um, but y'all let me know uh, down in the comments should I leave the poker chip it doesn't look good here with these two and um, I think I'm gonna leave this on here for right now the white one or the cream one and uh, yeah that's uh go to the bridge pickup ring I'm gonna do the same thing with that one with this one because it's uh, square it's not a uh, it's not rounded over so I'm gonna have to do the same thing sand it down uh, but I'm not gonna bore you with that let's see what it looks like afterwards and then we'll get to the truss rod cover I know I should have probably started with that first but um, go with the harder stuff first and save the easy stuff for the end okay Uh, right here these two holes were really close together and uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is just uh, putting the toothpick here to cover up this hole and then to make this hole back here a little bit stronger give it some rigidity and that's the same thing I'm gonna do with this one this one has to go a little bit more this way um, and down so what I'm gonna end up doing is putting toothpick in there like that and then drilling out that hole so um, Two picks are good for for fixing these kind of you know problems or issues and they fit perfect. So good for two picks. And then if I need to, need be, if I need to put a two pick in this one, I can do that as well to move that hole. So here is the neck pickup ring. And you can barely see a little bit right there dark um, this was kind of up so I had to push it down and uh, this screw here is at an angle because it's going in right where the pickup cutout is uh, I had to put that in at an angle so it'll work and then got this as flush as I can 
and uh, these two as well. So uh, that's what this looks like. Let's uh, see what the bridge pickup ring will look like. Do the the bridge off camera because it's taking too long recording, um, but I'll show you when it's done. So it seems like the back one is going a little bit better. I don't think you can really tell on that side. Probably more on this side. Well, there is shape going on to it. And I did notice that the other one, this one, had a rounder, rounder shape going on there. As y'all can see in the front. Um, but surprisingly, this is, well, I know it's flexible. But it is a little flexible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little freehand. Um, especially with this back one because it's a little bit thicker and uh, see how I can continue the shape. You can see the shape there better better than the, the back. So um, let me continue this. I'm going to do it freehand and uh, see if I can get this shape going. So here's the truss rod cover and I believe it lines up pretty good with the top one. And I want it to move it down. I guess it's gonna have to be there. It lines up perfectly. I don't know why this they didn't just use a better truss rod cover. So anyways, I'll use the stubby little screws here and uh, we'll get this on. And here goes a shout out to Music Nomad. Coming in clutch with the screwdriver. So here you go, got the truss rod cover put in with the Music Nomad screwdriver, and it looks pretty good. Um, I thought this side looks a little bit closer than that side, but you know, from a distance you're not won't be able to tell. So uh, y'all let me know what y'all want me to do with the Les Paul silk screen, if I should take it off or leave it on there in person. It looks more like goldish, yellowish. Um, I don't know. It doesn't. I don't really like the way it looks. I'd rather have it all black headstock with, with uh, with all this going on here. But uh, check that out. Awesome. I think it looks pretty good. And uh, y'all, let me know. Y'all like this? And uh, I'll get y'all a sound demo with a neck pickup reverse like this. Let me see if it sounds good first um, on test run. And uh, and then. I can do a little sound demo. So when y'all probably see the review and demo, this is the way it's gonna be if this works. Um, but follow me on Instagram and I'll put a little short of a sound demo of the neck pickup uh, 57 classic. So here is the original truss rod cover that came on this Les Paul Gibson. And let's see what it says. I vinyl wrapped it in uh, black vinyl just cause I didn't like everything that was on here. So it says Les Paul Standard. Um, and I just vinyl wrapped it as best as I could. Here it is. Wrapping skills weren't all that great. Um, so I'll clean it off with alcohol and I'll give it a nice cleaning. Uh, but today for my advice is just live life to the fullest. My wife's family member passed away and then her neurosurgeon passed away. And then I found out that my neighbor, um, a family member of hers passed away. And it's just like, wow, um, I just wanna live life to the fullest. Um, so if y'all can just live your best life. And, uh, and remember that God loves you, that you're saved. And, you know, we'll always have memories. Um, but just try to make memories. My wife and I went to a sunflower field and it was the last weekend. She thought we had one more weekend, but it was the last weekend uh, after we, at, like during this week, we had just found this out. And uh, you know, we made beautiful memories going to that sunflower field. And, and it was more like a scavenger hunt of looking for sunflowers because a lot of them were dead with the Texas heat. And um, 
and people have gone through there and it's been raining and you know the terrain is a little rougher so she was worried about me about going through there but with her she has um, a treated case of cerebral palsy uh, where she had surgery when she was really young and you know and she also has neurological problems with her shunts and stuff so um you know just live life and make memories uh that's that's all i gotta say that's all i gotta say about that <laughs> just to say in forest gump way um but yeah um I, I really like the way this is looking uh, i think i'm gonna leave the cream here and i might take off that toggle switch poker chip thing but i'm really liking the way that everything's coming out um, of course, y'all can see a little bit of that dark coming out of the bottom. Um, but up here, I think the only one that you can see is, is right there where that screw is at. But look at the way that these line up. Y'all can get that hair lining up perfectly with the strings. So yeah, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I know my workbench looks a little messy, but um, I was trying to get y'all get y'all a video out of this guitar and uh so i hope y'all enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and uh yeah take care everyone god bless peace and remember jesus loves you i love you thank y'all for being here thank you for your support and um yeah have a blessed week take care all right everyone uh wrong way um i just wanted to see if y'all can humor me for just a uh, 30 seconds i have this uh magnetic I guess extender thing um, so I have this extender or earlier I've lost like about two or three of these screws for the for the pickup rings for the old ones these and uh, instead of getting on my knees and rubbing my hands on the floor uh, I was gonna go ahead and try and look for the, the screw and uh, I see this right here there you go um, so I saw like a shadow on the floor and uh, it looked like it might have been the screw. And uh, here it is. So um, yeah, just share a little humor.